Abraham and Seth. They were a married slave couple from Macon, Georgia. William was born in 1824 and was African American man. Ellen was born in 1826 and she was half white and half African American. They were they were married in 1846. They both were privileged slaves. Ellen worked in the lady house. William worked as a carpenter. After wanting a family, they discovered discussed to escape in December 1848. They planned a collaborative escape. Ellen posed as a white male planter and William posed as her slave. They weren't spotted in their endeavors and their escape was successful. They headed to Philadelphia to be free. It took them four days of travel, traveling and they arrived on Christmas Day, 1848. Shortly after arriving, they moved to Boston. They lectured to people of the horrors and terrors of slavery in 1850. Congress passed the Fugitive Slave Act which made it illegal for states to harbor fugitive slaves like the Ellen Craft. They were hunted by slave catchers, which made the Crafts move to England. They lived in England for 20 years and raised a family. They had five children. They wrote a book called Running a Thousand Miles for Freedom. When President Lincoln abolished slavery in 1868, the Crafts moved back to the United States. After returning, they bought 1,800 acres of land in Georgia. The Crafts founded the Woodville Coop Farm School in 1730. 1873. The school closed in 1878. The crafts continued to run the farm and produce cotton. In 1890, the crafts moved to South Colorado with their daughter. Ellen Craft died in 1891 and William passed away in 1900.